bougainvillea plants have some of the richest and most beautiful colors I've ever seen. And they look so nice growing up against these trellises and coverings. And on the pearly white stuff. First time I went to L.A. was in 2006. Maybe it was 2007. But regardless, at the time I was very into the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And that was my sense for what L.A. was like, was how it was romanticized in their music. L.A. was sort of an epicenter for all of the most beautiful and bright things in the world. I was very excited to be there. The malls were all bright and bustling. There were Sony Ericsson stores. <laughs> and GameStop sold N-Gage. And people wanted to talk to each other a little bit more than they do now. So things are definitely a little bit different. Hidden Hills is very beautiful. So interesting to see a community like this that's basically right off of the freeway. And still has... This wide open space, all this horse property, sort of an amalgamation of ranch style living and suburban valley living. And I think that a lot of LA is like that, because LA is sort of a melting pot of media culture and arts. So interesting things come about, like suburban horse property, people that live in these sorts of neighborhoods really are sort of on top of the world. There's other places in the world where you would be more on top of the world. Suppose if you were on a mountaintop in rural Austria or Italy, you'd be on top of the world. But here, people are on top of the world in a sort of different way. And many entertainers live in this neighborhood. It's interesting to me, but I'm not really sure what that means to me. I guess to me it would just mean that the home prices are going to be higher. Because in a place like L.A., there's so many talented and beautiful and rich Many of the people who are very rich in Los Angeles did get there by being very talented and very beautiful. So there is something to be said for that. This is a very beautiful neighborhood in a lot of ways. It's also very expensive.
this is the entrance to the horse trail. This trail is at a 40 to 50 percent grade. And I don't believe that's going to stop us from getting up it. But it does go to show you how much power these horses have really got. We're on top of the world out here. This hill overlooks most of this neighborhood. And you can see a short distance away is the 101. I believe that's the commons at Calabasas. It really is a beautiful place to live. Although it's very expensive and very busy. The grade of this hill is actually steep. I didn't expect it to be so fucking steep. What you do notice, though, is that the way the neighborhood's nested up against the hills here is it is quite a bit quieter once you come down the hill. Hello. Bellissimo. Yep, he wants to come say hi. <laughs> it's a beautiful horse. If you have horses, this is such a great neighborhood for it. And I do think that many of the people in this neighborhood are very beautiful riders. Morning.
of the day is calling out to us. Got up fresh. Had a beautiful walk. And it remains to be seen what awaits. But it's always helpful to get a fresh start. Get the morning off right. To lay down a good foundation for the day. The mornings in L.A. always struck me as slightly chilly and slightly humid. does remind me of particular mornings over 10 years ago. And on those mornings, things were a bit more dreary than they are now. So I know that things are getting better in certain ways. And I know that we're all getting stronger. That's the only thing that we can do is get stronger. That's the only thing that we should ever hope to do is become stronger and to do right by the world we want to live in. And to do right by the world that we already do. And sometimes these two worlds are going to be at odds, but that's okay. Because if we act in faith and we trust that our will is good, then only good things can come. And so LA is a bit familiar also clearly not as I left it. Last time I was in LA was over 10 years ago. And I think that was sort of the beginning of the social media revolution. And I think that going back to LA has shown me how different public places are. And that's exacerbated now due to COVID, but... People do have a different character in public these days. And I'm also older, so it's tough to say where that one ends and the other begins. But things do feel different. Some people do look you in the eyes, though. It was bittersweet to be leaving because I got to see people who I haven't seen much in a very long time. But it was also refreshing to land in Colorado. The weather was very different landing compared to when we left LAX. Denver Airport is very refreshing and familiar to me. I like how easy the Denver Airport is, too. And I think it's an interesting airport. It's very energy efficient. And there's lots of interesting artwork and murals in Denver Airport. They're leaning into the Denver Airport conspiracy theories. And they have banners all surrounding different under construction areas that encourage you to go online and learn more about all of the interesting Denver Airport conspiracies. I think that's sort of fun and refreshing. 
Denver is very fun and refreshing to me. Coming back from LA. bright and open. Even when it's overcast, it feels bright. People seem strong and empowered. And they seem happier. And I can't explain why, but they do. The food in LA was very exceptional. And it's good to see that restaurants are thriving, even if people aren't necessarily going to them as often. Many restaurants are moving to do more delivery meals. I don't usually opt to have food delivered because I enjoy going to restaurants. And honestly, I'd rather pick it up than pay extra. But I did have a very delicious sushi dinner that was delivered from a restaurant in the Commons at Calabasas. The Commons is a very Nice shopping center. Most of the shopping centers in the valley are pretty nice, if you ask me. We also went to Westfield Century City. And I looked around at Zara, but I didn't find anything that I wanted. And then the next day we went to a thrift shop. And I found this Zara shirt that I really liked. And it had a very bright assortment of flowers on it. It was sort of a hand-drawn style. Kind of similar to what you see on Stump Town's packaging and marketing material for their coffee. And I always like really bright floral designs. So many people in LA, especially in the valley, live such beautiful and blessed lives. And it really does make me happy to know that so many people in America, get to live beautiful and blessed lives, even if you're not wealthy, you still do get to live a beautiful and blessed life in America. Many parts are very, very nice, and some parts are not so nice. But there is a mobility to America, and I do believe that anybody with the right mindset can take it upon themselves to live a blessed life in America, and that makes me happy. And it makes me happy to see the different sorts of blessed lives that we can live because there is so much variety in America. And every place that you go is going to have a bit different of a character. And the people are going to have a slightly different look in their eyes. And that's the case for just about everywhere you go in the United States. Everyone has a slightly who we are, yet we 
known.